We are back on BTN Live with a look back at Thursday night Big Ten hockey from Pagula Ice Arena. Penn State hosting Michigan. Two of the top teams, not just in the Big Ten, but in the nation offensively. Late in the first, Vince Pedri from well outside the zone, misplayed by Steve Racine, and we are all tied at two. Michigan now up 4-2 in the second. Tyler Mott leaves it on the doorstep for Kyle Connor to clean up. Connor's 20th of the season puts the Wolverines up by three, and then Mott gets into the act. Now 6-3 Wolverines in the third, make it 7-3. Connor and Mott both with 20 goals already on the season as Michigan beats Penn State Thursday night, 7-4. And we are thrilled to be joined now on BTN Live by Penn State hockey coach Guy Godowski. Guy, let's start with last night. I know the result, not exactly what you guys wanted, but what an offensive showcase. Teams combined for 99 shots, and it was a wildly entertaining game to watch. You know what? It was a great hockey game. I thought the first period was flying, and it was, it was fun to watch. It's not only fun to coach, but fun to watch. And uh, you know what? We came on on the wrong side of it, but it was a great hockey game. That's been your philosophy since you took over inside the blue line, sometimes outside the blue line, shoot it on net. No shot is a bad shot. How has that worked so well for you, and where does that philosophy come from? You know what? I, I think it's just we have guys that love to shoot the puck, and I think Casey Bailey was a perfect example last year, and, and I think uh, you know he's been a good influence on our program, and, and it's working. We've been scoring a lot of goals, and we're not ready to change. Overall, how has the development of the program, whether it's recruiting or in your coaching tactics, changed as you've evolved from the one year as a club team, the one year to a mixed schedule, and now in your third full year of Division One hockey? You know what? I think we've kept our philosophy the same, but as you can see by the Penn Staters here and what happens at Pagula Ice Arena, I mean, they're just so awesome. They motivate us to do better and better, and really the, the game hasn't changed. Our Penn State hockey hasn't changed, but I think they make it a lot more exciting as we go. Guy, you and I have discussed the fact that when you started recruiting, you almost fell backwards a little bit into recruiting a certain kind of athlete, a kid who knew it would be an uphill climb yeah. from the start, and yet now that it's not so much of an uphill climb, now that you're on that level playing ground, that the challenge maybe becomes getting guys with more skill that still have that same work ethic. You know, you're exactly right. I just love the character of our team. I love the culture, and it really was brought by guys like you just described, the Tommy Olcheks, the David Glens, and Luke Uhas, and go on and on and they really brought a, a, a desire to build something and not just arrive and I, I love that and I hope that we always maintain that because it makes the locker room a lot of fun. You'll play in an amazing venue tomorrow night but first one thought on your home venue. I've had the opportunity to see a few hockey games there called a few weeks ago when you won an overtime against Wisconsin. From an outsider's perspective it's not just a wonderful arena it's college hockey done right. What's it like yeah. for you and the team to play there? I love. I think you said it great right there. It is college hockey done right. It's so much fun. It, it, it's a blast just to watch a game there. And I tell you what, it's motivating too. Our guys love it. And they. it's hard to play and not just fly. You, you have to give it your all because the fans are right there with you. They're pumping you up. It's just a blast. I love it. And so you go from Pagula with a day off on Friday to Madison Square Garden on Saturday night. I know a lot of guys on this team got to play at Madison Square Garden against Cornell a year ago. How do you balance the differences, wanting the guys to embrace the experience of playing in a place like Madison Square Garden and still reminding them it's a hockey game that counts for the same amount of points in the standings as any other? Well, we're, we're going to enjoy it. I mean, it's uh, we're, we're used to playing in a great, great venue, and certainly this is the world's greatest arena. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's something that we're really going to enjoy and embrace. And, and that doesn't mean we're not we're going to take it easy at all. We're going we're gonna to do our best, and everybody knows that, but we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Michigan's offensive firepower was on display Thursday night. That line of Comfort, Connor, and Ma, the CCM line right now, one of the best in the country. What specific issues do they pose for any team that they face? Well, they're so skilled. They're so skilled. They have skill at such high speed. Uh, they're fun to watch. I mean, I give them a lot of respect, but we have to do a better job on them. Uh, they're excellent players, but we're an excellent team as well. Fun to watch, but we don't mind that game either. It's a, it, it matches up well against us. It creates a great hockey game. Guy, heading into this week, the Big Ten had three teams, Michigan, yourself, and Minnesota, all ranked inside the top 16 in the pairwise rankings. The ultimate deciding factor on getting into the NCAA tournament. Where do you see Big Ten hockey as a whole right now in comparison to where it's been the last couple of years? 
Well, I think obviously we're still a very new league, and I, I think it's just going to get better and better and better. And uh, we're in its infancy. You can't take two games uh, or two years and really extrapolate what's going to happen in the future. So I, I think I think the future is very bright. Um, I, I think we're developing our own brand. It's really nice to see Big Ten teams playing each other and, and developing some rivalries and some very intense games. So I think the future is very bright, and the future is going to be very intense. Last one for you. It's a special occasion tomorrow night. Do you have a special Guy Godowski pregame speech already picked oh, out for the not. Absolutely not. The guys take care of that on their own. They don't want to hear from me. Guy Godowski, Penn State head coach. Guy, thanks so much for the time. Best of luck tomorrow night. Thanks a lot, Rick. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Puck drops at 7 o'clock. Of course, the hockey pregame show, a full 30 minutes, comes your way at 6.30 Eastern.